guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Classics Temple of Darkness Sorceress. Temple of Darkness Sorceress is named after the original mini comic called The Temple of Darkness. And she's white because she's based on her appearance in a few of those mini comics, including The Temple of Darkness. This is basically nothing more than a simple repaint, but it is a traveling convention exclusive. She comes packaged in the standard Masters of the Universe blister card packaging. The back side of that gives us a look at some of the other figures available on the Classics line, and gives us a brand new bio for the Sorceress. So as stated, this figure is in an all-white design because she's based off of her appearance in some of the vintage mini-comics. Now this figure is nothing more than a straight repaint. The only difference between this sorceress and the sorceress that was already released are the boots. She's actually utilizing the Tila boot sculpt on this particular figure because she was seen wearing boots like this in those vintage mini-comics. Other than that, the only difference is in the paint job. Instead of the orange, blues, and whites, she is just a solid white. Now there is some nice shading on there, so it's got a little bit of grays mixed in, but it is mostly a nice bright white. The darkest part is actually the cowl that she's wearing over her head. It's more of a gray color than anything, and it has light purple eyes on the bird eyes there. Now one thing that I really like on here is that the feathered cape is made of a translucent white plastic. So it's kind of got this really nice crystal effect to it. Alright guys, let's take a closer look at Temple of Darkness Sorceress. Now, if you've already got the standard Sorceress action figure, Everything I'm going to tell you here is not going to be anything new. You already know what to expect because the figure is exactly the same, which means she has the exact same wing arc action feature on there. So the way it works is she's got these very large spools sticking off of her back. They are attached to the back of her shoulder. Uh, I talked about this a lot in my first Sorceress review, how <laughs> it's just not very appealing. It doesn't look too great. And unfortunately, since those wings are stuck to her back, that means... When you move her arms forward or anything like that, the wings are going to come forward with her arms. So, again, like I said, you already have Sorceress. You already know that's a downfall of this figure. Now, one of the things I will say is pretty neat about it is she's got this feature where when you lift her arms up, the wings come up with her arms, so you get that really cool wing-spreading pose. So that still works very nice on this figure, and it is a pretty impressive little action feature for the figure, but... The problem is, is we're stuck with those really big drums on the back of the shoulder. It really limits the poses you can put her in because of the way it kind of blocks her articulation. So, otherwise, her head is able to turn left and right, but the feathers coming down from her cowl do sort of get in the way just a little bit, but you can see it still rotates around. She's got the ball-jointed shoulders, and you can move up and down just fine, and you can move them forward, but again, it's going to bring the wings forward with them. You have swivels at the bicep, single joints at the elbow, swivel at the wrist. You got that torso cut articulation there. She does have those newer female legs that we've seen with figures like Battleground Tila and everything. Uh, she's got the Tila boots on there with the standard swivel as well as the single knee joint articulation. Uh, and then it does have the pegged ankles there, but good ankle movement as well. And the ankles are tight. They don't seem to be too loose on this figure or anything like that. So there you go. That's your Temple of Darkness Sorceress. For accessories, Temple of Darkness Sorceress includes the standard Sorceress staff. It's the exact same one that was received with the other Sorceress figure and is even painted with that same pearl white paint job. The staff is a little gummy, it's a little flexible in the handle, but it still looks really nice held in her hands. Now she does include another accessory, and this here is going to be the huge bonus for anybody that picks this up. She comes with a display base for the power orb that came with the King Grayskull figure. 
So if you got the King Grayskull figure, then you got this really cool translucent sparkly blue orb that is supposed to represent the power of Grayskull. The problem was we really had no proper way to display this really cool orb, but now if you get Temple of Darkness Sorceress, you have the perfect way to display it. It's a very cool looking base. The bottom of it is a really nice translucent blue with some crystals forming up at it, and as it goes up the base it changes into this granite gray color that actually has some speckles in it. Looking at the details on it, you can see some symbols carved into the sides. It looks like in particular there's a symbol for King Grayskull in the middle, a symbol for Hero underneath that, and what looks to be possibly a symbol for the Sorceress at the top. Now, at the bottom of all four sides there, we see some engraved language of some sort, and Mattel told us that they created some sort of Eternian language and engraved it on there. It's different on all four sides, so I am a little curious to know what that says. So, you can take that orb that came with your King Grayskull, and you can perfectly place it at the top of the holder here. And now we have a great way to display the power of Grayskull in its orb. And it makes for another one of those really cool diorama pieces to help flesh out your display on your collection shelves. Alright guys, it's comparison time! Here's the Temple of Darkness Sorceress standing alongside the already released regular version of the Sorceress, just so you can see that they are pretty much the same figure, just with different paint jobs. So there you go guys, there's a look at the new Temple of Darkness Sorceress figure. Now this is a traveling convention exclusive, so she will first be available at Germany's Grayskull Con, and then later at the US's Power Con. Now I believe after these conventions there will be a small quantity of her available on MaddieCollector.com. Until next time...